हेलो एवरी वन सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अवर एज योर डेटा इंजीनियर कोर्स और प्ले लिस्ट बट बिफोर टू दैट फर्स्ट लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ हाउ एक्चुअली वी कैन प्रिपेयर फॉर एनी एज योर डेटा इंजीनियर रोल वाट आर द स्किल्स विच इज रिक्वायर टू क्रैक एनी एज योर डेटा इंजीनियर रोल वाट एक्चुअली वी हैव कवर्ड इन आवर प्ले लिस्ट और कोर्स एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वाट आर द प्री रिक्वेस्ट विच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू कम्प्लीट दिस कोर्स और प्ले लिस्ट सो द फर्स्ट वन हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर डेटा इंजीनियर रोल हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द डेटा इंजीनियर रोल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वाट एक्चुअली वी विल डू वील गो टू द नौकरी डॉट कॉम वील ओपन अ नौकरी डॉट कॉम वी विल ट्राई टू सर्च फॉर द एज योर डेटा इंजीनियर रोल वी विल सर्च फॉर द एज योर डेटा इंजीनियर एज योर डेटा इंजीनियर रोल एंड वी विल ट्राई टू एनालाइज वाट आर द स्किल्स विच कंपनीज आर लुकिंग फॉर फॉर द एज योर डेटा इंजीनियर रोल सो लेट मी ओपन नौकरी डॉट कॉम so i open a nokri.com and search for the azure data engineer role and let's try to analyze so you can see the company name is infosys as part of their job description what are the roles and the responsibility they are looking for so they are asking about experience with python pyspark framework so they are asking about the python or pyspark they are asking about the expertise of azure databricks experience of sql and also they are asking about the etl and the process flow and also they are asking about good to have azure or azure De devops knowledge on configuration management ci cd and cloud you can see good to have good to have means if you know that is advantage or it is not a mandatory but these are the skill which is mandatory you can see experience right so they are asking about the python pyspark they are asking about the azure data bricks they are asking about the sql they are asking about the etl and the process flow right so these are the mandatory skill which you should know and uh, this good to have is a optional skill we can say that so as part of the infosys these are the common skill which companies are looking for so what i will do i will just copy this here so you can see and they are asking about the python pyspark azure databricks sql and the etl now let's analyze the another so you can see this is another example so in this company what are the job roles what they are asking they are asking about the azure ecosystem proficient in azure services like azure data factory azure sql database azure synapse azure data lake they are asking about sql advanced knowledge of sql for querying or managing the relational database optimized performance and writing complex query they are also asking about the synapse analytics experience with azure synapse analytics for the big data and data warehouse solution they are asking about the etl process so you should know about the etl process and also they are asking about the azure data bricks so here also in this company also you can see they are asking about the azure data bricks they are asking about the etl means azure data factory they are asking about the synapse analytics they are asking about the sql and they are also asking about the azure sql database knowledge and all now coming to the next so if you will see in this company what actually they are asking for uh, as part of their job description they are they have mentioned as design develop and implement data solution using azure data stack component write and optimize advanced sql query for the data extraction transformation and analysis develop data processing workflow and etl flow using python and pyspark so they are asking about the python pyspark and you should know about the azure data stack when we say azure data stack means you should know about the data factory obviously you can create a etl pipeline so these are the skills actually they are looking for coming to the next this is another company here what actually they are asking must have skills strong pyspark knowledge and hands on experience in azure technology like databricks data factory have experience of designing quality control setting up the process like test strategy and all and collaborate with all product owners and all good to have skills these are the communication skills and all so here also you can see they are asking about the azure data bricks they are asking about the azure data factory and they are asking about the basic like how to uh, collaborate with the product owner these are the experience you should know now coming to the next in cognizant as part of their job description you can see they are asking about design develop and test deploy and maintain big data solution using spark and you should know about the azure data bricks collaborate with uh, cross functional teams 
stay up to date with the latest advancement in Spark troubleshoot complex technical issue related the big data develop high quality code so here also they are asking about the PySpark, Spark or Azure Databricks knowledge so in most of the job requirement whatever we have done the analysis so whatever the analysis we have done whatever the job description uh, uh, we have looked if you will see few skills which is very common for the data engineer role the first one is like python or pyspark mostly all the companies are looking for the you should know about the python or pyspark this knowledge you should know the second skill is they are asking about the azure data factory so if you are preparing for the uh, Azure Data Engineer role, you should know about the Azure Data Factory because with the help of the Azure Data Factory only you will be able to create a ETL pipeline. So whatever the ETL pipeline they have mentioned, right? So we do create using a Azure Data Factory. Now, apart from this, they are also asking about the SQL. So you should know about how to write a SQL code, how to write complex SQL code. So you should know about the advanced SQLs. So that is the another requirement. And most of the company, if you will go for any interview, the first question they will ask related to the SQL only. So you should be good in SQL. So that is also a mandatory skill which you should know. Apart from this, uh, they are also asking about the Synapse Analytics. Synapse Analytics for the data warehouse solutions and all. And apart from this, uh, they are also asking about the uh, Databricks. Uh, Databricks, Azure Databricks. So you should know like you should know about the Databricks environment, how to write a uh, PySpark code there, how to write Spark SQL code there. So you should know. Apart from this, another skill like Azure Storage or you can see Azure Services knowledge you should have. Like how to write a code in Azure SQL database, you, how you should know how to create a storage account, how to create a container, uh, how actually you can look the file in a storage account. So these are the basic knowledge you should have. So if you will see most of the job requirement, these are the skills which is very common and you should start your preparation with this skill only. Now let's discuss about what actually we are covering as part of the playlist. So as part of our playlist, so we have already started our Azure Data Engineer course. In that course, what actually we have done, we have already covered the Azure Data Factory. We have also started a Azure Data, we have also started a Databricks and also we have completed the PySpark. So Azure Data Factory, PySpark and the Databricks related videos already available. So this is available and this also is available and uh, Databricks also is available. If I show you, so if you will open a learn by doing it channel, if you will go to the playlist, the you can see Azure Data Engineering playlist. In this playlist, if you will open a full playlist, so if you will see we have already started with the ADF so ADF already we have completed and after that we have started the PySpark after that we have also started the PySpark and also we have started a Databricks means all the PySpark practice we are doing in a Databricks that is also important and also we have covered the interview related question in this particular playlist and also we have done the projects also like Azure Data Factory project Databricks sales analysis project and also we will try to upload more uh, videos so if you will see as part of the preparation this python PySpark this is already available data factory videos is already available Databricks video is already available now what next what actually we will do we will uplo upload SQL related videos we will try to cover advanced SQL topics from a basic to the advanced we will try to complete because this is a must skill which you should know after that what actually we will do we will also upload the python related videos because python is also important and uh, if you will go for interview sometime they check your python skills also so you should know about the python also and uh, the storage account this video is also already available so what is not available synapse analytics so after sql and python we will also cover the synapse analytics so these are the pending but the data factory, data bricks, PySpark you can start with that and the SQL and Python videos we will try to add more. So try to start your preparation with this skill and after that prepare for interview question and try to do some project and start applying for interview. Please do check the video and please do practice. Now coming to the prerequisite, uh, what are the prerequisite you should have for this? 
so you should have a azure account because once you will have a azure account so you can create a 30 days free trial in this azure account what actually you can do you can practice for the azure data factory in this 30 days what actually you can do you can practice all the azure data factory for this uh, databricks for the databricks we are using a community addition for the databricks we are using a community addition that is a free community addition and this community addition is free so you can practice your PySpark and python in a databricks itself for the sql we will cover the sql server so that is also free that also you can practice and the synapse and the azure data factory for that you should have a azure accounts so i hope you got the idea like what are the skills which is required to crack the azure data engineer role so do practice and do post your question